British Prime Minister under fire for accusing Nigerians of greed. A newspaper column written by British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has become the center of discussion as his Conservative Party seeks votes in the December elections. The PM had written the article during his time as editor of The Spectator, in which he said young people had an utmost Nigerian interest in money, The Guardian has reported. The Conservative Party leader was also reported to have referred to black people as pecaninis with watermelon smiles, specifically while criticizing then Prime Minister Tony Blair Johnson had written in an Independence on Sunday edition of October 1999, saying, All the young people I know, that is, those under 30, are just as avaricious as we flinty, tart, cherite yuppies of the 1980s. In fact, they have an utmost Nigerian interest in money and gadgets of all kinds, the report added. Wayman Bennett, the co convener of Stand Up to Racism, described Johnson's word as deeply racist and offensive. He told The Guardian, Boris Johnson is, is unfit to be a prime minister that represents the entire United Kingdom. He had demonstrated by lying and falsely representing black, Asian, and different communities inside this country. This is deeply offensive and unforgivable and should not be ignored and it should be held to account. In the past 24 hours, both conservative and liberal parties have been criticized for their handling of race issues. The Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn, has also struggled to move on from an intervention by the chief rabbi, Ephraim Mavis, who said the party had not done enough to tackle anti-Semitism. So guys, uh, this is what uh, has been going on. You know, during election time, people will want to go and dig out what you have done in the past. That's why you need to be careful. Even if you feel that, oh, I'm not going to vie for any position or whatever, but who knows? Tomorrow anything can happen. But even if you are not even going to vie for any position or whatever, it is good to be to be moderate. It is good to, you know, you know, you know what you say at a particular time. Because when we say, oh, you have to be careful because maybe you are looking for something. But that doesn't mean that you don't have to say things the way they are, but you don't have to, you know, you need to be careful in whatever you say because no matter what people will remind you, they will tell you this and this, you did this and this, so, so, so time. So why, why come in at, and tell us, oh, you are for this or you are fighting for some people? Just like uh, this issue we have in Nigeria. And people see, going back to Kosi even worry that anybody telling you that he's paying subsidy is a scam. But what do we have now? People will see, remind, remind you. And uh, concerning this eight speech that we are talking about, people will see, remind you what you have said in the past. And I can still remember David Marks as well, you know, talking then that, you know, uh, phones for for us to have phones in Nigeria, it's not really it's not meant for the poor people, and that thing continued to 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 haunt him. Anytime he wants to come for any election or whatever, people always go back. Oh, that man! Oh, this man does not have the interest of the poor, or the masses at heart, because they believe that they need to be, you know, they should be on top. Every other person should, you know, should be worshiping them. So when you talk about racism, how what how do we relate it in our own? A country it is tribalism simply tribalism so when i hear people talk about oh you know these white people are racist and all of that i say he's not it doesn't bother me because even we do worse things even they themselves they try to be subtle about it they try to be corny about it they can't just come to you but I, I, we, we, they will somebody will curse you mama you curse your papa will tell you your how uh, uh, your physical shape everything they would they, they don't even hesitate to say all of those you know i mean on the street and even with what we are experiencing in the country. But so for these guys, because the election is coming up, so everybody's digging, they want to use any any whatever, you know, politicians, you know, they want to anything they can use to 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 bring you down so that they themselves, you know, they will look good. So they are trying to tell the world that this man is not fit to be the, the prime minister of uh of the United Kingdom because he that the man the Boris Johnson he comes out to say oh he's for these people he's for he's fighting for them you know he's trying to relate with them but in actual sense they had to go and dig 
what he has written because he, he was an editor and you know he wrote in his in his column he, he, he was a columnist before he became a maybe politician whether he's still into that i don't know but that is what they are referring to and as far back as 1999 1995 or something they see just when they just want to look for something to you know to nail you but it is not left for the people whether they are going to continue with that so it is really rampant amongst the uh, uh, politicians so they want to do the same thing even jeremy corbyn to the same thing uh these uh jews people and all of that you know coming at that was a time he said something about them even the jerry corbyn he's trying to defend himself oh no that was not what he meant this and this and that so now these are the two main uh parties in the uk uh jeremy corbyn the labor party and also the conservative party um where this man is coming from boris johnson so it's all uh, about that so it depends on the people if they really want to continue if they want to vote for him if they want to say oh, oh you know of course he will come and defend himself well, that was not what he meant and all of that but that is politicians for you and let's uh, hear uh, people's reaction here someone said they knew what our leaders are doing is on point hmm. someone said hmm, prime minister that does not want to associate with the old european union very selfish and self-centered hmm. someone said now you're now your is greed your but yours is greed the man only said the truth and we expect it to be bitter to be bitter uh, because truth is bitter but then one we ask why will nigerians not be greedy when they have a government that has no plans for its citizens no welfare no job no electricity no value for life so they ought to have greed because they try to get money so that they can feed or fend for themselves and their families so as to survive. Uh, that is what this person is saying. But I think uh, some people do not really agree. Uh, some people do agree with this statement. Someone say, yes, on point. Someone say, your comment is confined within the bus. Have you lived abroad before? Everywhere there, there is greed and corruption. Do you know how much money that belongs to Nigeria that is in the UK? Boris Johnson is just uh, a useless racist and his comments are lunatic. So the British are God Almighty or the Lord Jesus Christ. My brother, wake up and stop fooling yourself. And somebody's agreeing to what that person is saying that it's because of our leaders that made a lot of people to be greedy. But if you if you want to go in that line, what of a better the, the ones that call themselves that they are rich, the ones that uh, they've 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 taken enough and yet they are still greedy, they still just want to take more. So could you say it's because of poverty? Like everybody is right, you know, and entitled to his or her own opinion. Someone say, remember, the said article was written as black as 1999, as far back as 1999, not under this administration that you are fond of making a mockery of. I have seen that most of you social media tigers had already taken to social media to celebrate what was written far back as 1999. So it doesn't matter whether it, has, it was written before the person was born or whatever, but whatever you, you have done, People will dig it out. Whether you are doing it now or you didn't do it now. No. Because now they feel that for you to have said something of that nature, you were you were an adult. And, you know, a, a, an editor for that matter sh that we should have known better. So if that kind of person should have that same mind, people will want to dig it out. Whether the person has changed or not, the thing is still there. The, the document is still there. People can easily go there. Because if really you are remorse or you made a mistake for what you have done the best thing is just to remove that article or whatever you know from 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 the public domain but in as much it is still there people still believe that you still believe in what you said so this particular person saying oh the social media people that they are just thinking is is is, is said uh, recently that it was far back as 1999 it doesn't matter whether it was a, a 300 or 3000 years ago people will still bring it out of course people still talk about it, their religion religion that has been practice you know that have been in practice since how many centuries how many decades how many how many you know over how many whatever people are still referring to what happened then so you need to be careful one needs to be careful so it is not for him to defend himself whether people want to go in line with that whether it was it was written or it was said recently or far back as a a time in memoria it's inconsequential but the word he said is still there so let him defend himself but somebody said, but what he said is true. Our youths are very lazy. They don't want to work and they don't want to want government to give them and they want government to give them free money. That's all they want and stay indoors, scamming white people on internet. That's their work. 
it is a lie. I I disagree with this person. Maybe okay if you say all Nigerians are you 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 should tell yourself that you are you are a lazy person. Like uh, somebody said, there's no way where there's no corruption, that there's no whatever. But that doesn't mean that you know when people are doing something, that you categorize or you generalize everybody. Oh, everybody is into this. No, if you are lazy, other people are not lazy. People are working. People are going to school. People are you know getting good job. People are so hard working. We see a lot of people, even people, those who did not even go to school. You see some of them involved in hard work. You see them on daily basis on the streets of the of, of, of all, all the cities in the country. So what are we talking about? Because uh, Buari said that, and that's why I think this person is even from all those areas too, saying that a uh, 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 why can you just generalize people? What does this person mean? A very unfortunate statement. That is unfortunate statement. And some people, a lot of people have really come out for, for this particular person. So, uh, the bone of contention now is what uh, Boris Johnson has said and it's being used against him by the other party, saying he's not fit to be the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, that he cannot represent everybody with that kind of mindset. Like I said, if really it was written far back as a, a hundred years, in as much that article is still in the reach of the public, it's in, it is still in the public domain. People will still go back to that because they still believe that that's what you believe and you never uh, retrieve that uh, uh, statement or whatever that you have made concerning those people. But it is for him to defend himself. You know, it's his election time. Everybody can say whatever they want to say, but the most important thing they could be true in what he's saying. If you feel whatever, everybody must really, you know, change his or her own way. But that does not mean that if you say, oh, some set of people are doing this, it's not a yasik that everybody should be generalized. That is what, in my opinion, I dis I totally disagree with. We have Nigerians who are doing tremendous things, even in the UK, in the US, all over the world, even in Nigeria as we speak. We have many, many lots of Nigerian people that are doing greatly, that are doing well. So it is still part of all this, uh, try to generalize people, generalize everybody as, you know, being, a spe you know, being, you know, acting in a particular way. It is unfair. And that is what they are accusing this particular man for. And some people are still coming to justify that. Everybody is not, everybody is not, you know, everybody does not act the same way. And everybody does not act the other way. So everything must be balanced. What of people that are doing tremendous We have a lot of people who are becoming super and senior uh, uh, judge. Even in the United States, what are we talking about? We need to be careful as well. So let them go and defend themselves. It's, it's, it's looking for votes from the people. And election is coming up in December. So guys, I don't know what you think about all of this. Leave your comments below in the comment section. Thank you very much.